Hello, my name is Robert Reichert. I'm a test pilot for Airbus Americas, and I'll be discussing with you today the flying characteristics of the ACJ-220 aircraft. So on the ACJ-220, with the advent of the fly-by-wire system, we were able to push away from a control wheel steering configuration and move to a side stick because we can make the side stick do what we want the side stick to do. Small displacement gives large aircraft movement, but not sacrifice any of the agility that we wanted. Some of the crews may think that it's a big jump to go from the conventional control wheel steering to the side stick, but I think they'll find that the transition is actually very intuitive and quite simple. On the ACJ220, we wanted to introduce the heads up display. We wanted pilots to have their heads out of the cockpit. We don't want them in the cockpit, so they're diverting their attention during critical phases of flight, for example, like landing. And with the heads-up display, using the flight path vector and the technology that's embedded in the heads-up display, they're able to land the airplane exactly where they want to with confidence, which makes getting into some of these challenging airports just that much easier. Part of the benefit of the fly-by-wire is also that we could build in performance elements into the airplane. For example, being able to handle or land in very strong crosswinds with complete confidence. We used composites to lighten the aircraft weight, but make it much stronger. We added fuel to the aircraft. Couple that extra fuel with the Pratt & Whitney fuel efficiency characteristics, we're able to fly as much as 12 and a half hours. So the ACJ220 was built to lower the workload of the pilot and crew. When you get into the cockpit, the first thing you notice is there's not a lot of knobs and switches. What we wanted the crew to be able to do was just rely on the automation. There's two benefits to that. Number one, we have lower training costs. You're only in the ground school for as little as three weeks for your initial training. And every year, you only have to do one day of training. Also, the pilots just have to get in the airplane and really just rely on the transparency of the automation. It only announces when it's not working, when it's not working. If you don't see anything, you don't have to worry. The airplane's doing the job that we designed it to do.